Alright, while I've got this bait plugged in, I might as well give you a little quick insight into some uh, technique. Um, uh, excuse me, I'm all dressed up for business today. Um, anyway, um, I should probably get a little bit more light on the situation. Uh, actually, it's okay. Um, yeah, and what I wanted to do was just uh, give you some... Uh, pointers about this technique. Somebody was asking me about um, my palm muting and my palm muting and, and uh, dead note technique there. Basically what I'm doing here is just keeping a, a constant 16th note. So it depends what speed you what the tempo is, but um, and I'm just uh, plucking, I'm just uh, accenting the notes with my thumb that I want to fret. So in this case, I'm playing like a, a groove that's going from D to G. So I, I sometimes use that double thumb technique as well, but uh, or just just uh, very light, very lightly. I use this technique when I'm playing very light passages. Otherwise, I would prefer to. I prefer to dig in a little bit more, you know, um, but. But for muting techniques, what I'm doing there is I'm getting the side of my palm, I'm just resting it very lightly, basically just before the bridge. And then I'm using my thumb and first finger, not really using the other fingers very much. Sometimes I use my middle finger. So this is the exercise I'm going to give you today, and that is just simply to play C, D, F, F sharp, G. And you can build up speed. Um, of course, this is going to work anywhere on the neck. And I recommend trying it with some different patterns, like um, if you try it with uh, you could try it with a blues pattern. You know, um, a blues shuffle or something. Um, that might give you something, another exercise or another common pattern that you can use to take it across strings. Like that. But uh, for today, anyway, the, 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 the exercise I've tabbed out is that. Which is just uh, very, very simple and I mean it's a useful little kind of funky riff. Um, again, to recap, using the side of your palm, just resting it very, very gently, just relaxing. One of the important things here is to relax your wrist and relax your arm. Shouldn't be too much tension in there. And then you're just going to use your thumb and forefinger on the, in this case, just the A and D string. And you're going to constantly play 16th notes.
I'm not moving any other fingers and the action is just coming from for the thumb it's coming from really this joint here and here as well and for the finger it's really just coming from the middle joint and when you get more confident confident with it you get more confident with it and more comfortable with that pattern you can start to, to introduce your third finger and you can get more kind of flam you know so but that's something to get into later I'll probably do some other lessons on this technique soon. So that's it for today. I'll just play out with the little exercise um, and I'll go closer on the left hand so you can see more what I'm doing on the left hand there. <laughs>